Okay, this is JDS, and this is a SM19 Liverpool episode, I think it's number 35, and it just happens to be recorded on the same day, that is, it's now the anniversary of the first day I ever uploaded a video, so it's the anniversary of my channel in my opinion. I made a video recently-ish, not recently, it was March 26th, where I made a video where it said that it was called the anniversary of the birth of my channel, that was the day my account was made on YouTube <coughs> but this is this will be I'll make a video about this once a year the other one I'll just probably have to make another video about it, maybe 10 or something but um as if I get get to 10 years I doubt I will um so yeah this is the anniversary of the first video I ever made uh that was August 1st 2018 obviously and it was a video of FIFA 14, you can go check it out. I'll put it in the description actually, why not? Um, so yeah, it was basically it was a video of just clips of things I've done in the past on FIFA. Because um, this channel was originally meant to be a FIFA channel. We'll get into the game at first in a second, the SM19. Go a few minutes ahead, maybe, and you'll probably catch up to where it is. So yeah, that's just a, I can honestly go. I think it might be a 10 minute video actually of just, there's no sound on it because I hadn't, didn't have music to understand how to edit or anything at the time, I still really don't understand how to edit if you really watch my videos, I don't edit very well at all. Um, so yeah, I was trying to think of what I could do as, it's like a celebration of it, and I was thinking of different things, I was thinking of maybe just re-watching, doing a reaction to my first video. But I don't have the equipment to have my. I don't, I don't really know how to have my face cam and the thing it's on my arm and stuff, so I didn't bother with that. And um, so yeah, I just decided why don't do I do a. I have the time today. I could do a five game episode of SM19. Because I have. Oh, it's on my eye. Because I haven't done one in. I don't know, like mid season last year of SM19. Like last season. Um. Now I've decided with SM19 if I'm going to, with SM20, if it's not, how am I going to say this? If I prefer SM19, I will do a series on SM20 that I will barely, I'll do, it will be, I don't know, it won't be a, much of a series. S, the SM19 one will still be the main series on my channel if I don't, if I don't think SM20 is to the same standard as SM19 or SM18 was. I mean, I'm hoping it'll be like SM18, not SM19, because SM19 is a bit of a drop in level. Um, for a good example of that, go to Mr. AVV, who probably was called Awesome Video Game Vids. Um, go over to his channel, it'll probably be in the description, he will be now, it'll be in the description as well. And um, yeah, he's got a good video about why he thinks it's worse, like why he thinks SM19 is worse than SM18, and I almost did the same video myself, and I couldn't agree more. A few points in there are a bit, there was one or two that I wasn't quite agreeing on, but most of them I completely agree with them. So before I babble on anymore, I'm going to get straight into it. Okay, here we go. First thing here, we've got uh, Exley signing for Port Vale on loan, and Manchester United are coming in for an offer for Ndong, and that's a good money for him to be honest. Um, do I want to push him to 19, or do I just keep it at that? Um, so, look, we don't really need him, but I might try and push him to 18.5. Who's going for it? Wait, why does it say he's plays for Port Vale? He doesn't play for Port Vale, he plays for us. That's weird. Oh, I'm going into Port Vale there. That was weird why it said Port Vale there instead of Liverpool. I don't know if you guys actually saw that or not. Come on, I'm trying to get this to focus first. Anyway, um, in focus in its own time. Oh no, okay, that's. Not good enough, that's too bad. Okay. Um, I'm time with a. Sh should I push him to 18.5 or. 
You guys probably just like shouting one thing at the screen right now, aren't you? Oh, there's his face. Um. Problem is, I don't want him in the team anymore because he's just wasting space and money I could have for someone else. But I want to get more. But I don't want to push him too high that they fall back and just say, no, I'm going to take it. I'm going to accept it. There you go. A bit accepted. Manchester United will have Ndong as long as they can find a contract. Um, so, yeah, let's continue the next day. You should have seen the backlash I got from my last video. It was... um. A video about Sun Yang and his drug stuff, drug problems at the moment, and uh, Shane and Jack and hers. Um, they're both in doping scandals at the moment, and mainly Asians, but the um, backlash was crazy. And then there was a few people who were saying my English was really bad and saying I need to get an IQ test and all this crap. Um, probably was bad, to be honest. I don't know. I haven't, didn't watch the video back. Didn't really focus on it when I, because when I, um, often when I, upload sport talks videos i literally just put in the intro outro the music make it the right sound and then like make it the right ratio of sound from my voice to the music and then i upload it obviously i cut down the end and the start to so it's not waiting up four seconds often when i start the thing i wait a few seconds because the sounds a bit dodgy as you would hear every now and then um in this series <laughs> so yeah um that's basically all I do, so I don't watch back my video, so... I probably did have horrible English. I'm not gonna fault them for that, because I may have. Um... Yeah, I don't know why I'm still talking about this. Let's continue with this. Okay, Manchester United have officially taken Didier and Dong from us. For 18 million. It is, uh, 860,000 less in his evaluation, but I didn't want to risk... Pushing him too high and then pulling out, because it's not a player they really need. Okay, I've gone here to find another player because I got 81 million. I thought I might as well do something with it. And I found Catrone here. Apparently, I've put a bid out for him already. What's this about? Really? What was my bid? Wait a second, I'm gonna go back and see what my bid was. Does it say somewhere how much I'm buying him for? He wants a basic wage of 78 million and a signing fee of. Jesus. Okay, um, I'll try and get him for four years, and I'll put him down for 80. Because he's gonna want, oh, shit, no, that's not what I want. <laughs> I went a bit over the top there. I was going for 80 million, not 80,000 there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sign him up. Hopefully, I haven't, my bid wasn't too high, because then I'd be wasting a lot of money. Confirm offer. Um,. So this will not push Rian Booster out of the, like, out of the, um, rankings, I guess you could say, in the squad. He will still be in the first team I'll push Gjuric out or something. So I don't really have a need for him. I have Lima and Fabinho and Keita and Shakiri and all those, Oxo Chamberlain, all those players like Lalana and stuff, all in the middle. I don't really need Gjuric. I don't know how, I don't know how to say his name. I'm going to give up. Okay, here we go. Patrick Catrone has come to us. Um, I haven't actually seen the indent it made into our wages, but, um, I'm going to move him to the first team here. <laughs> and there he is, Gruzic, Gruzic, whatever his name is, will be moved out. He's only 72 rated, so I'd probably hope for higher, but it's, he is a third string striker, so I didn't really expect that much. 47 million I got him for in the end. It's probably a little bit higher than I had hoped. I probably hoped more like 40 or 35, but 47.5 isn't that bad. Um, still got 26 million. I'm not going to do anything else in this transfer window, apart from maybe here, selling Lovren. Because do I really need Lovren? He's good money. I don't really want him in the team. Um, I'm going to try and push him high. Who's coming from? Everything's coming from. So I'm going to try and push him up high. Um, bid was too low. I'm going to say 32. Oh, that's not, no, that's not really high enough. I can okay, actually. Let's try 35 million. No, they'll just reject that. Yeah, 32.5 million. There you go. That's 
my offer, my counter offer for them. They've gone 27.75 million. I'm going 32.75 million. I've rejected the bid. <laughs> Let's hope they still have some kind of interest in them afterwards. Okay, Everton has apparently revised our offer, but they've just got done the same thing, so I'm gonna play hardball and do the exact same. 32.5 million. Reject bid. <laughs> and keep going. They'll probably pull out now because I just know the game. Uh, Olympic Marseille coming here for Shakiri. I'm gonna reject that because. Oh, but do, do we really need Shakiri though? I like Shakiri, but do we really need him? I wouldn't do it in real life, but do we really need him in this? It's just a good offer. 35 million for a player I barely really use. Apparently, I think it's worth more than Lovren. Um, even though it's a lower rate, uh, yeah, lower rate to play. That's because it's in a more attacking position, though. So, a bit withdrawn for Lovren. I'm going to look at my squad and see the depth in the midfield, see if I can hold up without him. And I'll be back. Okay, I've uh, made my decision and I'm going to push them to 35. And then if they want to take that, I'll get rid of him. If they don't, I'll reconsider. Okay, let's do training. I'm not going to read it out again. I haven't even done a game yet, and I'm probably, I'd say, like five minutes into this video. Maybe long, uh, probably longer, probably more like seven minutes into the video. Probably length of a normal video. I've not even hit the first game. Um, been pretty eventful, really. Uh, any notable ones? Mane's pace is from 96 to 97. Apart from that, nothing really big. Let's continue. Okay, didn't really expect this. They've withdrawn their bid. I didn't raise them that much, but they've withdrawn the bid for Shakiri. Uh, who was it? It was Olympic Marseille. I only lifted them half a million, and they could have easily just... Um... It's like, we offered, but... Two youth promotions, both crap. Let's continue. Well, this is not good for us. Um... Sadio Mane... I don't know why I'm shouting. Sadio Mane and James Milner have both been injured. Um, James Milner, six days is out, so he will miss the menu game, not much more, I wouldn't say. Um, what's he done? He's just got bruised ribs. Um, and, oh, um, he'll be back anyway. Why is he tight hamstring? Okay, whatever. Um, continue. Sadio Milner, another will actually be back for the menu game, but they'll be back for the next one, both of them, I'd say. Let's get into the first game episode, hopefully. Okay, man, you're here making an offer for Shakiri. It's low, rejecting it straight away. I'm just gonna say, too low. Do I have to give a... Can I just tell him it's too low? Okay, I don't want to give a reason. I'm gonna reject it. Okay, into the first game of the season here. Okay, I'm gonna do the squad, obviously, and I'll be back. Okay, this is my team. I'm going to give Alexander Arnold most games over Klein this year because as a young player, I'm going to try and get him up in the ratings. Um, basically, got all 80s apart from the two wing, but Matip 79 is basically an 80. If I put Klein in, he would be an 80. And Timo Werner is 83. So we've got mainly 80s in the front, in the first team. Um, and not, that's not probably going to change either anytime soon because I can't see us getting any lower rating. Why is my screen turned off? Um, so yeah, my squad is Firmino, Mane, Lima, Salah at the front with Cato, Fabinho in the middle, Robertson, Matip, Van Dyke, and Alexander Arnold across the back with Alison Becker in goal. Now, what was my thing for this? Like, what was my, um, was it once an episode I said I'd do this? Or was it... I mean, none of the players here start on the field. So I'm not going to do it. I don't think. Let me think if I should do it or not. Like, it's something I've put into the game, but I don't want to ruin the game and make it too easy. I could do Timo Werner and bring him on. I 
Okay, I'll do that. So yeah, give me your opinion on that, whether you like it or not. I don't really, um... have an opinion. I know I said not cup finals or cup games, but outside that, I think it was if they give the option, I'll do it. Uh, let's continue into the game. Okay, here we go. Liverpool versus Manchester United. First game, the second game of the season, so let's hope we can keep going on our winning streak, which is only one game, but technically two if you count the Community Shield. Okay, they have the ball here with Jones. They'll throw it backwards, and Firmino has taken down Bailey. I'm going to check the settings after this and see. Okay, money on key highlights. I go extended for any cup final or final of any kind, as I've said in the past, just if you don't know. Okay, Lukaku's on the ball here. Puts it through to Gay, Gay, or whatever his name is, I don't, never know how to pronounce his name. Um, we've not been playing very well. As I said, I am taking off a better Firmino for Timo Werner. Um, they seem to have been in control of the game by the looks of the five minute thing down here and the rating of all our players. So I'm just going to do that only for now. Let's see what his rating is first. She's only got 84. Okay, let's confirm. Continue. Okay, Sadio Mane with the chance here from outside the box. Takes a shot. It's off the post. He's got another chance here and he's put it away. It came straight back to him as he ran past the wall after his shot. And he puts it into an open net just to defend it on the way. And it's an easy goal for us. Lima will start another attack here. Salah puts it in to... Who is that? That was Fabinho. has been brought down by Pereo. And Pereo will get a yellow card from that. Pretty eventful first minute. Three minutes, sorry. Um, here's a chance for us. Timo Werner's penalty in the box. And who will take it? I'm not sure he's actually on penalties. I'll see if I can figure it out. Who do I want on penalties? Rolls. Who's on penalties? Naby Keita. No. Um, <clears throat> who do I want on the penalty? I don't know who's good at penalties. That's the problem. I'm going to give it to Werner. Because why not? Timo Werner here will take the penalty. Confirm. That's as long as it confirms a change before they give the opportunity. It didn't even... Okay, they did show it. Timo Werner puts the penalty away to the right of the keeper who dives to the left. Not his left, his right, but I'm saying the kicker's right and left. Um, so, yeah, it's 2-0 up, 56 minute. Lima puts the ball here to Werner, puts it to Keita, puts it forward here to Lima, whose shot does not go anywhere past De Gea. It's a poor shot, dribbling straight to his feet. Okay, Lingard comes off here for Martial. Trying to get some extra firepower into their team. I should do the same in the next few minutes. Which has gone better than I hoped, uh, better than I thought, so. Uh, I thought it would be like a 1-0 if we win, or a close game at least, but we're 2-0 up with not much to go. They have an opportunity there, I think, maybe, but I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to bring Rodrigo in for Lima. And I'm going to bring Shakiri in here for Salah, who is playing poorly. Or do I want Lallana instead? Ooh, that's a... I'm going to bring Lallana back here for Fabinho, who's going to come off. Um, okay, there we go. Confirm. Salah here, headed it down, but has been hit by Lukaku, who seems to be getting a yellow card for that. I'm going to skip it because I can't be bothered watching it. We know it's going to happen. Okay, they have a chance here out on the wing. Matic on the ball has been taken down here by... I'm not sure who that is, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. It's Robertson, and he will get a yellow card for that, I believe. That's normally what this means, yep. I don't want to take some so long to pull the thing out, the bloody, pull the card out. This will be the final play here, I'd say. We've got a corner in the 91st minutes, put in. And Werner with the shot, it gets past the keeper. Perfect half volley. Keeper had no chance. De Gea tries to dive, doesn't even get diving yet, I don't think. And we are 3-0 up in the 93rd minute against Man United. This should be the full-time whistle, it is. We have won second game of the season against Manuel Rivals 3-0.
There's the score. Make it official. 3-0 win over Manchester United. It's a good win for us to get our season into a better position, let's say. More of a role. Ah, uh, nope. Okay, so possession was in our favour in the end, same with shots, it was 53% possession, 13 shots to 9, uh, 5 goals to 1, and corners was 6 to 5. Let's look at our ratings we had. <clears throat> we had a few weights in the back line with Allison, Trent, Alexander Arnold, Robertson, we also had quite a few 9s, we had Van Dyke, Matip, Sadio Mane, and that's it. Uh, Keita came on with an 8 as well I missed before. We had quite a few 6s from the starting lineup with Fabinho, Salah, Firmino and Lima. We also had a 6 from Madrigo off the bench. Um, our best player today was Timo Werner with a 10 and 2 goals and Lalana with a 7 coming on in the 82nd minute. And Sadio Mane got a 9 as well as I said before but he also got a goal with 2 yellow cards with Robertson and Firmino. There were no assists somehow with 3 goals but let's continue and see where that puts us on the table. Okay, so we have been put into third after that game with Leicester City up top. I doubt they'll hold it like they did back in 2015 or whatever it was, maybe 2016, whatever year it was. Um, Man City in second and us in third. We need to get ahead of Man City. We need to do that because it's... I don't want to send it happen in real life. It's going to might happen here. I always want to be stuck behind Man City in everything we do. Um, even simulations like this. It's almost like a bloody curse. Um, so let's continue on to the next game. Hope nothing bad happens between it. I doubt we'll sell anyone else. We might sell someone. Okay, here's the Champions League draw. I'm going to try to keep my phone still whilst I do this. We're going to do it slowly. So the first team to be picked is Valencia for Group A. For Group A again, the second team is Porto. Then it's Bayer Leverkusen and Spartak Moscow. For Group B, the first team is Chelsea, second team is PSG, Torino is the third team, and Atletico Madrid rounding out Group B. For Group C, we had Borussia Dortmund, don't know why the things aren't coming up quick enough, but they aren't. Um, we had Barcelona, Manchester United, and Anderlecht. It's a pretty strong group there, only two of those big teams are going to come through. One of, I doubt Anderlecht will get through there. If they do, they've done a miracle. Um, what's the Porto thing there about? Why does have the Porto sign there for Anderlecht? I don't know. Let's continue. It's been a bit dodgy today, clearly. Uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach is the first team for Group D. Uh, Rapid Rhein is the second team. Olympic Marseille is the third. And Juventus is the fourth. Uh, PSV is first for E. Um, Locomotive, Musca, M Moz, I don't know how to say that, um, nor that one, that's the third team, and Celtic round out Group E, um, Sparta, Pra, Praha, I don't know, whatever that is, it's first team in Group F, Dynamo, Zagreb, I don't know how to say that either, is second team in Group F, Manchester City, and Galatasaray, AS Monaco, starts Group G, um, Shakhtar, Don, I don't, Don, how do you say the second bit? Don, Donest, <coughs> however you meant to say that, I've never really been sure. Napoli will be third team in there, and Basil, will, or Basil, whatever you want to say it, is the last team. Starting off Group H is Liverpool, so that's me. We will have Real Madrid, or that's a tough one to be. Lazio and Bayern Munich, with well, that is the killer of a group. <coughs> I was hoping for an easy game in there so I can put Ram Brewster in a few games, but that's one hard. We're going to have to win basically. Well, we have to win both Lazio games, that's for sure. But we need. That's going to be a very hard group to get through. Um, anyway, let's continue. Well, that's actually the end of the draw. Good point is H is the last group. Anyway, that's the finished draw. We have. I'd say we have the hardest group. Then the second hardest one is the um, Andalect. One, whatever the teams were on that again. <laughs> so that's the end of the Champions League draw. Thank God I pressed record on that for a second. I thought I didn't. I said finish draw, come on. There you go. So we're almost at the next game. Um, yeah, let's, let's look through this actually. So that's probably one of the easier groups. That's a pretty that's a pretty hard one actually. Chelsea and PSG, Atletico Madrid. I reckon that's second hardest though. 
That's an easy one. That's an easy one. That's a easy one for Man City to get through. That's a average one. That's, that's pretty good actually. Shakhtar, Monaco, and Napoli. Then there's ours, which is just ridiculous. Let's hope we can get through that and do better than last year. Okay, we have another draw here. We have the draw for the second round of the League Cup. Um, right for us, it's Swansea Man City. It's a decent game. Uh, Fulham Leicester is going to be a close game as well. That's going to be an easy one for Manchester United. Uh, Millwall and Derby will be a pretty close game, I'd say. Um, Chelsea will kill Portsmouth. Come on, where are we? Everton with an easy game as well. Give us an easy game. Come on. Arsenal versus Bristol. Are we even in this competition anymore? <laughs> yeah, we have to be. There we go. We get Wickham Wonders. That should be an easy game to get through. I'll play around Bristol for that one for sure. Okay, training. I was actually going to show you the training, but now that it's here and I don't stop pressing record, I might as well. Um, nothing really that big happened there. We had Rodrigo stamina going from 84 to 86, and we had the pace for Umpa Meccano going from 83 to 82, and Randall's 87 to 88 in work rate, which is a good work rate actually. Who is this Randall guy? Is he getting any good? Okay, no, <laughs> he's no good. Um, let's continue to the next game. Hopefully now. Okay, here we go. Only one change here. It's Lima out for Timo Werner. Puts Timo Werner as a supporting striker and Roberto Firmino back to his preferred role as a deep lying forward. Uh, actually, no, there was another change. I've forgotten. Uh, Joel Matip has come out for Umpa Meccano, who. I don't know if those arrows mean form or morale. It might mean morale, but I put Umpa Meccano because it's I thought it was form, but I'll leave him in for now. Because he's a younger player and you'll get more out of it. Um, I'll probably bring him in halfway to get that, to try and get him into form. Same with Lovren, maybe, I don't know. Um, obviously, a few players in those reserves like Samir, Fergal, Booster, Klein are just real backups. I know Klein's higher than Alexander Arnold, but I always got Alexander Arnold because there's a better uh, potential and stuff. Okay, here's the problem. I don't really know if I want to do this every single time. I'm not going to do it. Okay, obviously we're versing a pretty good team here with Kane, Ali, Son, Eriksen, Dembele, Di Dyer, and obviously I think it's under the background, had Alderweireld and all that stuff in there. It's Tottenham versus Liverpool, another hard game for this season. Timo Werner puts it out wide here to get us going. Salah puts it here to Fabinho, and that will be the end of that highlight, obviously, because it's the kickoff. Okay, we've put it out here, 44th minute. I'm guessing this is going to be the half-time highlight. Mane puts it across field. Salah gets it down here, Timo Werner who takes the shot and it goes off the post into the road of Roberto Firmino who puts it in off the rebound, we are 1-0 up against Tottenham with seconds left in this first half and we're just going to pass it around here, we've lost the ball though Kane and that is half time that was a goal in the 44th minute and 54 seconds so there was literally 6, sec six seconds to go until the whistle would have been blown, unless obviously we were in attacking position. Um, Alexander Arnold's playing quite poorly, so I might have to do something later, but I'm going to leave it for now. Salah's doing poorly again. Um, I reckon I might sell him next year, actually, because I, I always see him at half time with a five, and I'm always thinking about um, subbing him. If he keeps going like this in this game, I'm going to move Rodrigo in for him and put Rodrigo as a wide forward like he likes to be, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Kater's doing poorly as well, so I'm actually going to bring Lallana in for Kater. And let's confirm and continue. <clears throat> okay, Diaz going off here for Rose. Okay, this might be the full-time thing. Nothing has really, nothing happened at all since half-time. I haven't had one highlight. And it is, it's full-time. It's 1-0. Uh, we've been top them hot spurs. 1-0 at home. At Anfield, obviously, being home. Umpa Makano with the man of the match. It's a good game for the young kid. 8 rating only though, so it wasn't really that good to be honest. It was just an average game from everyone. There was the goal right before half time which won it for us. We had 11 shots, 2 shots on target to their 3. So we actually won with less shots on target. They had 9 shots by the way in total. Uh, we had 5 corners, they had 3. We had 53% possession, they had 47. So the assist maker was Timo Werner off with a shot off the post and the goal was from Firmino. They both had 7s. 
with also Fabinho, Alexander Arnold, Robertson, and Alison Becker with sevens. With sixes, we had Keita and Seller. Keita, who came off. Uh, we had Mane with a five in the end. And we also had Van Dyke with a six as well. And our only player with an eight was Umpa Makano. So it was really a poor game from us. Let's see what theirs was like. See, they had a nine in Luis. So they technically had the man of the match. So I don't know how Umpa Makano was, because... I know I've ha had them, I swear, as man of the match when we've won. Maybe this game you have to win to get a man of the match. Anyway. Let's continue. Okay, whoever this player, Corey Whelan, Whelan, whatever his name is. Um, they've come in for lessons evaluation, but I don't care. He's out. I don't want him. He's a waste of space, waste of transfer, wage, stuff, whatever. Um... So there's half a million for us in the bank, with a crap player leaving. And not right now, obviously, you have to wait for him to accept it, but... I hope for him to accept an offer. But I don't see why he wouldn't, because he's never going to get a game here. And he's not going to get a game of Bolt Wanderers either, because it's so bad, but... Anyway. <laughs> okay, as you can see down the bottom there, Whelan did accept that offer. We have a few more things here. One here for... what's this about? What? Okay, whatever. I don't even know who this guy is, to be honest. I've never looked at him. What, don't even know what position he plays. Where does he even play? Uh, as a midfielder. It's a good midfielder, actually. Who is he? Tia is, it, is that just Tiago? I don't know his surname. That must be just Tiago. Maybe not. Oh, is that Tiago? I can't tell from that. Does that pitch look like Tiago to you? Anyway, um... Let's move on. It's not important for us, really. Bogdan, I'm gonna accept the loan bid. Should really just sell Bogdan, but still. And... Millwall coming in, in here for sales. Um, Malmo was the... Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, was about. Um... Yeah, Malmo was the one who got Bogdan. Now Millwall coming in here for S Alan Souser. I will accept that bid, and he will be on his way to Millwall for the season. I will accept. Okay, yeah, it worked. Okay, there is a lot going on here at the end of the transfer window. Malmo have taken Bogdan. And Souza, 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 whoever has gone to Millwall. Wolverhampton Wanderers wanting Herbie Kane. Whoever Herbie Kane is. Uh, I'm actually going to raise him there because that's a poor offer from Wolver, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, bid was too low. Give me 600. No, not 6 million. 600 grand. Okay, they did withdraw their bid for Herbie. Um, here we've got training again. Obviously, it's every seven days, so it happens quite often. Firmino with a 99 to 100 stamina now. So, he's got a stamina rating 100. Um, just get rid of that, because it's going to annoy me, the youth notification there. One day left in August, one day left in the transfer window. We will not sell anyone by the looks of it, and we will sit on a low wage until mid-season, until we'll probably sell Shakiri or someone. I'm not going to be surprised if we do. Um, so we did sign for Real Madrid. That's, I'm very sure that's Thiago. Oh, no, I don't need a cash injection. That's one thing I do have a problem with this game that um, Mr. AVV did bring into his video about the money. The money you have to play with in terms of how much people are worth and are willing to move is, if that makes sense. So the money you're given in this game and the money that players are worth, that you have to pay for players, is a bit out of proportion and then you can't get the same kind of income when you sell your own players, if that makes sense. They won't budge at all. For, like from the transfer value for when you're selling players but when you're buying they expect you to go 20 million over 40 million over 50 million over um 
so yeah, that is a bit of a problem really in the game, but the, every game has that, so it's not really much to complain about, really, that bit there. The, um, not being able to sell players for much more than their valuation. I guess the big players you can, but even little players, you still have to pay well over the valuation to get them. Um, and you can't sell them for that same amount. Okay, I'm going to do the squad obviously and continue. Reversing your cost, so it'll be a weaker squad than normal. Okay, we have quite a few changes here to the squad obviously and quite a few debuts. We have Katrone up front with his debut, uh, playing in striker role. We have Lima, Lana and Shakiri across the middle front attacking thing, whatever you want to call it. We have Fabinho and James Milner. And we have Samir making his debut with Lovren, Matip, Alexander Arnold alongside him with Karius in goal. Um, I'm thinking of maybe moving Faragal for someone. But I don't want to jeopardise because I've got these players there in case I need them. Technically, even Bruce will be making a debut as well if he plays. Um, like a first team debut. I'm going to leave Faragal out for this game. He's not going to get his debut yet, but we're going to play on. And I am not going to do this either. <laughs> I'm going to say once an episode for that. And no, um, tra no, um, thingy. Whatever it's called. Cup matches, obviously. Okay, it's game three or five. Perez, Muto, Olsen, Hayden, Key. Uh, there's no really players I really know in here, New in Newcastle's team. I guess Kiai, Key, whatever his name was. I forgot to say his name. I remember him from buddy FIFA 14. It's the last FIFA I played. If you guys don't know, I've oh, it's not the last FIFA I've owned. I should say I played the newer ones, but I've never owned them. They've seen to have most of the play so far. It's been put in, and there's a penalty to Newcastle. James Milner. What will he get? It'll have to be a yellow. It can't be a red for that, surely. Oh, it's just a warning, okay. And Shah, 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 whatever his name is, will go up for the penalty and gets it in past Karius. Karius dives the correct way, but does not make the save. And they get the first goal of the game. Maybe I have gone a bit weak here. Uh, okay, we've got Fabinho on the ball. Puts it here to, I'm not sure who, but Lallana's on the end of it. And that is a goal for Lallana. A nice backhill pass. I'm not sure who that was by, to be honest. They've launched a ball upfield here. And one of their players has been brought down by Lima. He will get a yellow card for that. It's one all. And this will be the end of the half. With Dubravka. Here's a player I do know, actually. Dubravka. And that is the end of the first half. Shakiri will be coming off as he is on a 4 rating. And who will be coming on? Well, Mo Salah. One change there at half time, obviously, with Mo Salah coming in. Lallana will put it upfield here. Catrone has got through, and that was a ridiculously bad shot. It was a perfect through ball from Lallana. He was completely open behind the defence and his shot was just ridiculously bad. I don't even understand what he was trying to do. He used to take a touch and go for the shot in the box. Anyway. Do you know what my tactics are? They might have been sure it's might have been why he's done it. Uh, Charman has come on for Perez there. Uh, Hayden on the ball. Muto. He's been taken out here. And Lallana will be penalised for that. I'm going to bring on a few more players. Mane will go out on the wing and Timo Werner will come in here as a supporting striker right? yep okay let's hope that will work we're back to the norm well let's say the old the normal middle three from last year when we played this formation with Werner, Mane, Salah okay Milner's on the ball Puts it upfield here, he's running onto it, Catrone, oh, Simo Vanna actually, uh, that was a weird goal, but it works, running backwards with the ball, right up to the keeper, puts it past him, super sub there, Timo Vanna coming on, making the difference, to 90th minute, come on, 
Okay, here we go. That's full time at St. James's Park. 2 1 win. Newcastle got the first goal, but we came back to win 2 1. And a super sub goal from Timo Werner getting us the win. Alexander Arnold, youth player, really, still in this career mode with a 9 rating. Um. We controlled the game really in the end, 66% possession, 15 shots to do, to two rather, five shots on target to one and seven corners to one. We did have two yellow cards though. Let's look at our team stats. We had a four from Shakiri and Lima, uh, very bad. Um, Lima with the yellow card, Shakiri with nothing, both being subbed in the one in the 46, one in the 74th. We had quite a few sevens, one from Karius. Samir on his debut, uh, Milner and Lalana who got a goal. We had Katrine with an 8 on his debut and an assist. Had a chance for a goal but blew it. We had also 8 for Lovren and Matip. And so we had a 7 for Werner as well who got a goal. We had a 6 for Mane, a 5 from Salah and a 9 from the man of the match Alexander Arnold. I don't believe I ever said the 6 either for Fabinho. Okay, after that game calls the end of the transfer window and it also calls the end of the first month of games if it wants to focus so I can show you this. Come on. Okay, it's like I know, but anyway, um, there you go, it does it now. So we, again, we have no one in team of the month. Um, that seems to be running theme. We'll probably have like two a year, even though we're top few of the league. We're second in the league and guess who we're behind? Probably could have been high if I put my full team out. Um, because we only won 2 1 in the end, we could probably won like 4 0 if I put my full team out. What am I looking at? Oh, that's what I was looking at. So, yeah, after that game, we are sitting in second position. Equal points. Oh, piss off. Equal points with Manchester City. But I don't want equal points, I want more points. Because the closer we are to them, the more chance that they'll get over us at the end. I'm going to continue through here to the 7th of September for the game against Brighton will be the second last game of the episode as I said 5 game episode because it's the anniversary of my channel um so yeah let's continue okay Gomez here with the stamina 90 to 91 um his training obviously Edgar Arnold stamina 83 85 and Milner the same 95 to 97 Milner's stamina is actually crazy in real life I mean he's a good like 34 year old or something, whenever he is, as old as hell for a soccer player to be as fit as he is. But he's easily the fittest in the team for Liverpool. If you guys don't know, I'm a Liverpool fan. Um, I th you should really, unless you're new to the channel. So, yeah, here we go. Brighton today. I'm going to make the team, then I'll be back with you. Okay, we're back to a bit of a stronger team here, but not nothing too impressive. We have Firmino. Up front with Farragut on the left wing making his debut. Mane and Salah uh, finishing off that middle three, I guess. Uh, then the other middle two players and the sorry, other two midfield players are Fabinho and Keita just behind them as normal. Switch from back round to the normal side. I don't know why the opposite sides are normal. Um, Samir playing another game here on the wing. Should I change that? Um, yeah, okay, I'm bringing Robson back in. Don't need some me out there today. Um, with Gomez, Van Dijk, Alexander Arnold, and Alisson will be back in goal. Don't know why I hadn't changed them, but I hadn't. Let's continue. Obviously, already done it for this game. No one else will be changed. Continue. Okay, obviously reversing Brighton, and the best team might play in my team. Best play in their team, in my opinion, is Matt Ryan, who somehow in real life has not left them. I don't know why, he. I believe he's better than them, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, great start here, Mane puts a 40 for Firmino, and nothing comes out, obviously, because I don't know how that wouldn't go in. That's a perfect start. There was no one between him and the goal by the keeper. And it was in the box. Firmino here on the ball anyway, puts it through to Mane. Mane gets it through to Firmino. Take advantage of this shot, yes he can. He must have been a poor shot from the first one, but he gets that one in. The side netting, and people could have done nothing about it. One up, 11 minutes in. I'm going for a bit more of a thrashing, but still not doing a full team. 
Okay, on the ball here is, I'm not sure who, but Felgao has found his way after a nice tackle by Mane. He's been taken out here, though, by Balogun. I don't know why he's standing in the way of the ref. Maybe he's just talking to him or something, I don't know. But Balogun will get a yellow card, and the free kick will not be shown, so obviously it was nothing. No good. Okay, Matt Ryan here. Takes the shot, kick rather than not the shot. And that is half time. I didn't even realise what time it was on the thing. Salah again with a poor performance. You know what, screw him. I'm going to switch him around and bring Mane on. I didn't put Mane on the reserve. I didn't put Mane on the subs. I left him in the reserves. Um, that's a bit of a problem. No, no, there, he's in the middle. I was going to say, I swear I put him in the reserves, but he's in the middle. Um, bring Rodrigo on in the midfield, in the middle there, okay, no I won't, because he doesn't want to play, okay. Lima will play there instead if you don't want to play there. Um, so there we go. That's the change. Mane's gone out on the wing, fogo has gone to his preferred wing, and Lima has come on for Salah, who's been playing poorly again. So I just don't think it's really worth it. I only really see... Oh, that quality is completely gone there for the restart. 45th minute. Okay, here we go. We're back. Okay, ball's been put over here. It's Mane on the wing who puts it in into the path of Limo, I think, but it was over with the volley, I believe. I don't think it was a head, I believe it was a volley. His leg moved like it was a volley. Uh, Stevens has come off kicking the ball animation for some reason as he runs off, but Bong's come on for him. Okay, it's the 88th minute. I left it as it was because he was going pretty well. Lima's on the ball here. Puts it through here to Mane, he'll run in, he'll take a shot, he puts it past Matt Ryan, and we get our second goal, I believe, of the game. Yes, it is. It's only a 2 win in the end, so it wasn't as good as I hoped it would be. 91st minute, it's an easy win for us, though, against Brighton and Hibalbion. 2 nil win. It'll help our goal difference a little bit, but I hope it'll be a bit more, but unfortunately, you just can't get there. 2 nil win, as I said at Anfield against Brighton. Man of the match being Trent Alexander-Arnold again on a roll here. Hopefully this will, will improve his rating because I'm taking the advice of again bloody um, Mr. AVV. I watched all of his videos just to help improve this series and get my players better and stuff and he basically says just play the players and they'll improve so I trust him and let's hope it works. 63% um, possession here for us in that game, 23 shots to 2, 8 shots on target to 0, and 2 corners to 0. Let's watch the ratings for us. Um, obviously Salah on the 5, Van Dijk on a 5, and Fergal on his debut on a 5. That's not a way to show yourself, mate. You want to do well on your debut. Um, we had sixes with Fabinho and Mane with the goal and an assist despite still getting a six somehow gets a goal and assist. It was high before I moved him out to the wing. Um, we have sevens with Allison and Keita. We have Mino on an eight with a goal. We had Gomez on an eight, Robertson on an eight, and Lima with an assist coming in the 46th minute on an eight. And we had a nine for the man of the match. Once again, Alexander Arnold getting the man of the match with a nine. Okay, despite winning that game, I believe Man City actually stretched the gap between us and goal difference. So, I believe we were two behind with seven, us being seven, them being nine. It's now eight and eleven. So, they outdid us in the game, in their game, and they've actually pulled away despite us winning 2-0. Um, we've had a pretty hard start early on, though. I hope they've not had the same. Let's see if they've had an easy start or a hard start. If wants to let me. Come on. Man City. Press it. Thank you. Schedule. What has their start been like so far? They just had Manu, which they won 3 1, so they didn't improve on us actually. They equaled it. Hmm. Okay. Um, so, Premier League. Here we go. They they lost to us, obviously, in the Community Shield. Uh, English Shield, whatever this game calls it. Um, they beat West Brom 2 0, just like we did. No, that we beat Brighton. Um, they, yeah, they beat West Brom 2-0, just like us. Uh, then they had Southampton. So they've had two hard games, Arsenal and Man U. We've had two hard games, haven't we? We've had Man U and Tottenham. So yeah, we've had pretty much the same start so far. They have a Champions League game next. What do we have next? 
We probably would have the same, wouldn't we? Yep, we have a big game to end the episode. Real Madrid in the UEFA Champions League. Let's hit this with a bang. We need to get started well in the Champions League. That made no sense. Hit this with a bang. What the hell did that even mean? I don't know. I just talk random shit sometimes and it makes no sense. Um... So yeah, it's the 12th, so it's a few days away still. Let's hope there's no injuries from here to there. I'll go a full team, obviously, for this game. Uh, Salah will be a part of that full team. Hopefully he doesn't do his bullshit where he plays like crap, which he's been doing a lot lately, which is why I'm seriously, not even joking, I'm seriously considering selling Salah. I've said it many times, I'm not taking the piss or anything, I'm seriously considering selling him. Because he's just, I can't think of the last time he did well in a game or did well in two games in a row, really. I don't know the last time he's done it. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for this. I might as well just leave it running now that I've done this. New job vacancies available, I don't really care. Um, so here's some other UEFA Champions League fixtures to start off. Um, that's the over Bayern Munich, the other one in our group. Let's see who wins that. That'll be an interesting one for who wins. Who wins it? It was Lazio. Oh, Lazio beat Bayern Munich 4 0. Wasn't even the first one either. It was a 4 0 win for Lazio over Bayern Munich. Let's hope that we can replicate that, being at play probably the underdog team here against Real Madrid. Sorry about moving the camera there. I'm going to leave the training thing for next episode. I'm going to do the team and I'll be back with you. Okay, here you go. Full strength squad. Firmino at the top with Mane, Lima, Salah. Keita, Fabinho, Robertson, Matip, Van Dijk, Alexander-Arnold and Alisson in goal. That's what I call my full strength squad. I don't put Klein in there anymore because I don't want to play him much this season. I want to try and get Alexander-Arnold as many games as I want and try and get Booster in there as often as I can as well. So I'm actually going to switch out Felagal and Booster. No, nope, I'm not doing this. Once well, an episode, remember. Let's continue. Okay, the team we are versing today is Bayou, Rodriguez, that's James Rodriguez, Isco, uh, Thiago, Cruz, Modric, Marcelo, it's just the full team really. Um, then they have obviously players like Carvajal on the bench, it's a stacked team, Real Madrid. Uh, let's hope we can outdo them. Reda Firmino will be the last touch there in the first highlight. And sorry, in the kickoff highlight. It is our Anfield here, it's a big game for us, we need to get a big win here to start off our UEFA, UEFA Champions League. Because we didn't do well last year at all. We didn't even get to the group stage, I don't think. They've got the ball here, and Lima has taken down Marcelo. He will get a yellow card for that, I'd say. Am I correct on that? Yes, I am. I'm with certain. They wouldn't show it in key highlights if they didn't. Okay, Robertson to Matip. This isn't looking good, how we're just passing it around. Uh, Firmino. Okay, now we've got it up forward. That's good. Lima on the ball. Takes a shot, gets it past, uh, who's their keeper? I don't even know who their keeper is. He gets it past him though, Lima with the first goal of the game. He's been a real shining star for us this year. He seems to have the golden touch, he's been launched over here. It's back into Lima's path again and he's got, he's got like, just got the golden touch mate. He's another goal, 2-0 up against Real Madrid. That was a perfect, I think it's either volley or half volley, I'm not sure, but it came off, uh, I'd say Mane probably, he's a dark skinned fella. And it's back of the net, top corner, off the volley or half volley, whichever it was. Oh, Courtois, obviously it's Courtois, what's wrong with me? Who else would it be? Ah, uh, that's half time. I'm not going to make any changes here. I don't believe. Now I'm leaving everything as it is. We're 2-0 up, Lima puts it forward here for Firmino. How does that not come to something every single time? Ah, uh, Firmino passes here to Lima, gets it back to Firmino. He put it, and the Courtois facing the wrong way, makes the save. <sighs> don't know how. Just sticks his hand out, gravitates with his finger or something, I don't know. Uh, Fabinho, Lima, he gets taken out there by Marcelo, and Marcelo will get a yellow card. They're just trading them there, because Lima got one earlier in the game from tackling Marcelo, now it's all the way around. Okay, they're making a change here. Casemiro coming on for Cruz. I'll also make a change here. I will bring off... Um, you know what? Chikiri out to this wing. And... Lalana here. Because they're both playing poorly. 
I'm gonna leave Firmino on because it's on a 10 somehow. I was gonna bring Booster on, but I'll leave Firmino on because of how well it's playing. Until the 70th minute, then I'll bring Booster. Okay, Salah and Mane coming off for Lalana and Shakiri. Shakiri is on Sane's wing, Lalana is on the other. Actually, I'm gonna switch that around. I'm gonna switch the wings because Shakiri is better on the right wing, I believe. Okay, and we're doing it now. Firmino will come off here for Rian Booster. He will get his debut for Liverpool in a Champions League game against Real Madrid. Hope I don't regret that. Rian Brewster getting his debut in the senior team. And Shakiri starts off the game here. Getting the touch off Marcelo. Putting the ball and missing it from a very close range. Rian Brewster coming off here for Firmino who deserves the clapping off because he's played amazing. But I wanted Brewster to get his chance if we were in a strong position, which we are with just 15 minutes to go. Okay, Courtois here, puts it upfield for the full-time whistle. There it is, 2-0 win over Real Madrid. It was a 93-minute game, I don't know why that's important. 93-minute game, 2-0 against Real Madrid in the home game, mind you, but it is still a 2-0 win, and that's what we wanted, a win over Real Madrid in the Champions League. It's a good start for the first time in the Champions League. Man of the match here up being Roberto Firmino with one assist and a 10 rating. We had 62% possession, 16 shots to 6, 6 on target to 1, and corners 6 to 4, yellow card for both teams. We had pretty good ratings in the end, to be honest. Not a good senior team start for Ryan Booster, though. We had Lana coming on with a 4, that's a poor performance from him. We had a few 5s with Ryan Booster, Shakiri, and Mane. We had a 6 from Salah, so he was actually better than any of the subs that came on in the end. Um, we had... Uh, seven for Alexander Arnold. We had eights for Allison, Roberta, Ro Robertson. So not Roberto, Robertson, Van Dyke, Fabinho, Naby Keita, who got an assist, and we had a uh, nine for Lima and Matip. Lima with uh, two goals and a yellow, and obviously the ten man of the match rating for Firmino with an assist. Okay, that is the final game episode. Let's see where that puts us in the competition. We would be second, I would say, for the Champions League because it was a 4-0 win for Lazio, am I correct? Let's go down to the bottom. Actually, let's look at the rest whilst we're here. Um, okay, so Spadak Moscow and Valencia. So Spadak Moscow are the only team to win in Group A. Um, Torino and PSG winning Group B. Uh, all draws in Group C. Uh, win for Rapid Vienna and Juventus in Group D. Group E has a win for Celtic and Lokomotiv Mos Mosca Moskva, whatever the name is of the team. Uh, two wins in Group F as well with Man City and Dynamo Z Zagreb. Uh, both getting the wins. Um, Napoli with a win in Group G, same with Shakhtar, and Lazio and Liverpool, obviously, that's us, in Group H, with wins, they're 4-0 wins, so they are above us. That is the end of the episode, thanks, bye, um, and I guess happy anniversary for the anniversary of this channel, it's been a year, I've got up 37 subs, better than I really expected to be honest, I thought I'd get like 10 in the first year, um, so yeah. Thanks, but I hope this will be out ASAP. I hope it might be out today, but I highly doubt it will be. Um, being recorded today on my on the anniversary. So thanks, bye. See ya. Bye.